Hello and welcome to a new video about the physical principles of electricity. Today we are talking about power. Right? So, actually, I got a teacher. Huh? We speak German in our country, in Austria. And I got a teacher who had a very uh, crow-like voice. Huh? And he always said, <coughs> Leistung ist Arbeit in der Zeiteinheit. Yeah. Which means performance is work in time unit. Yeah. Because Leistung means performance. Performance and power I have the same word in, 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 in German. It's called Leistung. Yeah. So we're talking about, actually we're talking about the physical form of power now. Yeah. So we're talking about word by work by time unit. This is what he tried to say us to us. We never understood that that back in the days. Yeah? He wanted to, to encourage us to produce more, to, to, to not spend effort yeah, in a tremendous amount of time, to spend effort in a short amount of time and this is our performance and this we will get our grades. Yeah? Ah, we did not know this. Now I can tell you, yeah. if, if you do the same amount of work yeah, in a shorter time, you deliver more performance, you deliver more power. Yeah. And actually that's also the definition of power. Yeah. So power, power equals work. Divided by time. So the unit of power is one is one joule per second. Yeah? And this is called one W. What? James Watt, huh? engineer, engineer, huh? who really mm, contributed a lot in automation process with the steam engines and so on. Yeah, power. He produced power. Uh, this is why P is the formula sign power, and the unit is Watt. Uh, and when, when we remember, what was work in electrical units? Work was voltage multiplied by current multiplied by time. So actually, if we're using this here, yeah, P equals voltage multiplied by current multiplied by time divided by time, then we reach U multiplied by I. Pui! Pui! Actually, this is the formula most of, of the people know. Yeah? Power is voltage multiplied by current. P is U mal E. P is U multiplied by I. And then they say, okay, the work equals power multiplied by time. This is, this is the usual way. Okay? Because, uh, you know, we usually have here, and this is also where the units are coming from. Yeah? We usually talk, don't talk about the joule. Yeah? We talk about a, a watt second. Yeah? Because one joule, one joule is one watt second. Yeah? This comes from here. Yeah, last time. Last time we talked about this heating, yeah, and we calculated here, and I said, okay, U 
this E was 9 ampere and the U was 220. So we are calculating now the power of our, of our uh, heater. Uh, in example, we had the power equals U multiplied by I. Uh, and in our case, U was 220 volts and I was 9 amps. Okay, so this is 220 volts multiplied by 9 amps. What is the result? 220 multiplied by 9 equals 1980. 1980 watts. This is the power roughly. It's 1.98 kilowatts, roughly 2 kilowatts of power has this has this T heater and this was also printed on the label uh, where I said okay we are going to do this and we needed 169.3 seconds yeah uh, so the work which we were producing I will write it here work is P multiplied by T and we have this 1.98 kilowatts multiplied by 189 seconds yeah, is multiplied by 189 seconds. We consumed 374220 uh, joule at watt seconds. Yeah, watt seconds. And this is 374.22 kilowatt seconds. Yeah? And how many kilowatt hours are this? I have to divide by 3600 because 3600 is uh, how many seconds are by, by uh, hour. Yeah? So I will here I will divide this by 1000. Then we have kilowatts. This was not a division. Then we have kilowatts. This is for sure wrong. <laughs> I will make it 1.98 multiplied by 189. That was correct. Divided by 3600. So we are using 0.104 kilowatt hours. Yeah. So it's 374.22 kilowatt seconds divided by 3600 seconds by hour. Uh, tuk -tuk. That's what this heating of the D did work. Uh, and now with 50 cents by kilowatt hour, this costs roughly 5 cents. Because current is currently current electric power is really expensive. Let's hope. So boiling one liter of tea, five cent. Yeah. So that's power. And if we take into account our Ohm's law, by the way, Ohm's law is important. So U is R. multiplied by i and we're using this here we have here p equals u was r multiplied by i this is u multiplied by i and this actually is r multiplied by i squared P is R multiplied by I squared if we have a an, an constant resistance. Or if we do it the other way around, then we have here P equals U multiplied and I equals U divided by R. 
Hmm? So here multiplied by u divided by r. So now we have u squared divided by r. These are also two typical variants. If the if the load burden is behaving like an ohm, ohms, hmm? power. Yeah, that's power. Power is work in the time unit and in electrical units, P multiplied U is multiplied by U multiplied by I and the rest with the Ohm's law is self-explanatory, I would say. Yeah. So, unfortunately, power doesn't mean power. This means if I'm sending somewhere power, we have seen this. Yeah. Actually, we calculated the water uses 335.2 kilojoule. Yeah? And we consume 374.22 kilojoule, kilowatt seconds. There's a difference. So there's an efficiency involved. So this is the thing we're talking next time. Next time we're talking about efficiency, how is it defined, how, how can we deal with this behavior that uh, I always need more power than I can use. Uh, some say there's never enough power, well, <laughs> we will see, we'll see about that. Uh, next time, efficiency. For this time, thank you very much for listening, goodbye.